What's up guys, it's Smith here from GamersHeroes.com and a quick guide for today in Fortnite on how the heat gauge works. Now I've already got guides on how you can survive the heat and you can survive the cold, but I've seen a few people saying, well I'm using this food and I'm still taking damage. So I just thought I'd throw up a guide here explaining how the heat gauge actually works. So I'm just at my base camp right now, I'm in the grasslands, the temperature here is typically normal unless it's raining. So if you look in the top left hand corner at the temperature gauge, you have the normal temperature, normal average range, which is the gray space. You have cold, which is the light blue space. And you have freezing cold, which is the darker blue space. On the right, you have the hot space, which is the orange. And then the burning hot, which is on the red. If you are ever in any of those, you will take damage over time. So the light blue, you will take, I think it's about a quarter of a heart. The dark blue, you'll take a half to a whole heart. So it's more severe heat or cold, you will take more damage. So the mistake I'm seeing people are making, if you look at my gauge right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to eat, I've got three items here I'm going to show you. I've got a snowberry shake, which increases my heat resistance. And I've got a spicy pepper, which increases my cold resistance. So I'm going to show you the spicy pepper one real quick. This is going to make the cold bar on the left shrink. So watch. See, so that means that I can take colder temperatures before it gets to the blue, right? The issue with that is it didn't move very much. So most of the places where I'm cold, I'm still probably going to be cold. Because that's the, 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 food, the food itself, the spicy pepper, doesn't offer a huge bonus. So if I then switch, this is going to go for the other side now. So the Snowberry Shake uses, um, it's one of the juicing machine items. This will increase my heat resistance. But watch how much the heat bar on the right changes in comparison. See, much, much bigger difference. So I've got resistances there both, but you can see that the bigger item, the 10 minute one, is a huge bonus, massive difference. Now, even with this, if you're in somewhere that is burning hot, so the, the, the highest level of temperature, you will still be hot, which means you will take damage over time. So what you can do to counter that is use the slurp juice, which is another item you get from the juicer, which heals you over time. This heals you at roughly almost exactly the same as the damage you take over time from hot or cold. So if you pop one of these big drinks, um, the slurp juice uh, is for the cold, and then I think the, the burger... There's a burger for the, yeah, so there's a burger here for the cold resistance and then the other one for the heat resistance. If you pop the big food item first and then a slurp juice, it will protect you from the damage you get over time, whatever the temperature is. So guys, nice and quick, nice and easy. Get ready and get back to the game. If we helped you out today, do like, subscribe, I do appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care now.